Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning of Isaac Fiend Holy Yo! We're jumping in again. We did turn it into Maggie last time. It was a blast. We're gonna jump in again and do Sam Sun. Samsung. Let's go as him. Um yeah, let's give it a go. Um we do have greedy emerge to do this guy as well, but I'm just gonna do a normal run for now. Try and go mother, maybe. I've not really been going for completion marks as much recently, but hey ho. This is honestly a terrible, just awful idea but i think it does work with um what's it called so i'm gonna take it it's a really bad idea though it could very easily get me killed but i'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt anyways for today's question of the day for the today's question of the day what is something that people try to get you to like but you just you just can't because for me something that that's always been the case and many people in my in that watch my videos or in my audience may already know this um, for me, it's always been anime. I don't know what it is. Uh, ooh, also, cancer is fantastic for us here. I don't know what it is, but it's always been one of those things that people have always tried to get me to watch or really advised me that I try. And I've tried a few different times, and I've just... Uh, and even, like... I, I know this sounds bad, but even without trying it, it's just not my thing. <laughs> and I just don't know if it ever will be. It's just not my style. I'm... I, I don't know. I just can't. I just can't. Um, I've tried a few different ones, but yeah, there's just been, I don't, I, I really don't know what it is. Going out, it looks a bit different there. That's a bit weird. Um, I really don't know what it is, but yeah, there's just been too many times where I've tried it and not enjoyed it or, uh, I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's, it tends to be, oh, my hands are really greasy. Oopsie. I just did, um, I just kind of washed my cast iron pan and re, re it in a bit of oil and it's all over my hands. Um, it's definitely bad of me, and I, I probably should, like, broaden my horizons by trying it. I, I realize that it's me just being pretty close-minded and not like by not liking it. But at the same time, it's not for me. It's not for me, I guess. I'm not going to put pressure on myself to um, to enjoy something that I don't think I'll enjoy. But, like I said, I might enjoy it. I don't know. I'm just being a goober. Uh, secret room is probably here. I'm going to try that out. I probably should have just tried to let one of these guys do it. Because, yeah, that was a bit stupid. Um... And it wasn't even there. God damn it. It's a really good start to a run, though, this. Really good start to a run. Okay, we've got some spiders. Cancer especially is very, very good. Right, let me just go and find the secret room real quick. Um, I'm going to guess that it's probably... Hmm, I actually don't know now. It's probably here? Yeah, there you go. Lots of these fellas. Sadly, our last bomb, but was it worth it? I think it was. The gas is pretty good here. I think we wait for a, a floor that has a curse that we actually want to remove to utilize it. I very rarely use the gas to actually remove uh, curses. I normally just take this for the free soul heart and, uh, and bounce. But we'll actually try and utilize it for removing a curse this time. Can you? I don't know if you bounce through the poops or if you fly straight over them. I have absolutely no idea. So far, though, we got really good damage this floor because we got hit a few times. We're killing you relatively quickly, so I do not mind at all. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I don't. I, I really can't even put a finger on what exactly it is about it. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Um, yeah, I can. I can't even really put a finger on it. The, what what exactly it is that means that I don't like it, or means that I'm not haven't tried it much. Case of creation. Yeah, we'll just remove that then. And this does give us a bunch of damage. Okay, great. Okay, as long as we can try and get fairly regular health upgrades also we've got clutch there if i want to try and buy that and actually we've also got crossed heart which i think is better i'm gonna try and get crossed heart if i can if we can get the money for it that is um i i think i think one thing and this is always something that people say to try not to focus on is i feel like some parts of the community and it's definitely a vocal minority i think can be a little bit overbearing and a little bit too pushy like um, someone that I know, I'm not gonna say who, but someone that I know, um, in my family is, um, this is tricky. I really like my reflection. I'm gonna take my reflection. Um, other one would have been better. Other one would have been significantly better, because that would have given us red hearts after every boss fight. But I like my reflection because it gives you a lot of range. Um, and it can be pretty wacky with some synergies. If you get a beam, it ends up being pretty good. I like that. Nice. Trying to destroy some poops here. I just want to try and get as many red hearts as we can before the next floor, if plausible. The cat, the cat food gives you, like, a bunch of red hearts at the end of every floor, so that would have been great. Okay, this guy's pissing in the corner. I would like to stop you from doing so, sir. Thank you. 
your dirty grubber. Looks like we're not going to get the money we want either, which is a little bit sad. This has been a little bit of a sad state of affairs here. I would like another bomb as well, because I'm pretty sure I know where secret room is. Okay, calm down, you. This has been a good floor, but I think our next floor is going to be a lot weaker, because we just don't have the red hearts to support the way that we've played this time around. I think we will get some red health out of the boss, but not a ton. We want more red hearts, really, if we can get them as well. But yeah, sadly, no clutch for us. Didn't get the money we needed, unless we get a dime somehow off the boss, which... I'm not really seeing how that'd be possible unless we get a pretty darn lucky, um, what's it called? You're pissing in the corner again. Stop. Oh, God. I don't know this boss very well. That is apparent. It's pretty cool, though. Kakomancer. Okay, so he does a pretty big dash. He also has this, which isn't too bad. The dash is really getting me. I need to be careful because I really need my soul heart health. My soul heart health is very important right now. Dude, can you like drop a bomb already? Guess not. Oh, he's also got this really obnoxiously long death animation as well, doesn't he? So we did get some more red health, which is pretty nice. Uh, we're going to stick on the angel deal path here. And I think I'm just going to bounce. I'm, I'm going to quickly go and try the curse room just because we have a chariot card here. I feel like it might be beneficial to us. I'm really annoyed I didn't take cat food now, but I couldn't have known. Regret Pedestal is just uh, being the troll that it is. Okay, that was very worthwhile. I'm very glad that I did that. We're still not going to get a lot of damage value out of this. Is there any other red health we can get from within here? Not really. The green key doesn't do anything for us. We could try and gamble our money, but uh, I don't know. Those, those, um, those slots kind of confuse me. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not a ga I'm, I, I don't know how, like, as, as much as I'm a gambling person, I don't really know how to play many gambling games. But yeah, I've had, I've had a lot of times, I, it didn't even trigger this floor. That's how, um, that's how little red health we have. I didn't, I didn't realize it wouldn't even trigger at half a heart, which puts our damage at significant, like, significant downgrade to normal. But this is a pretty interesting run. I think Blood Earth runs, if you can make them work, are particularly quite interesting. As this character, you've got a much higher chance, I think, of it being an interesting one. And honestly, regardless, we still have decent tiers uh, and stuff, so I think that we're not too bad off with our current setup. Bob's Curse is not really what we're looking for. Fortune Cookie is very good. I really like Fortune Cookie. It can give us some soul hearts, which we... Definitely said we, we need. But yeah, I've always had people like recommend me there. Like, oh, here's my intro um, anime. And um, here's, here's this one and this one. But I, it's... The the, the style is is all, always one thing that's slightly off-putting. I, I realize that's more of a learning curve. Or like, not a learning curve. But you just have to kind of get used to it more so than learn it. Um, so that that's kind of part of it. Oh, these, these are like... Oh, these are like unique fires. Specific to this dude, I think. Because they are not real fires. Okay, we got rid of you. I think I've got to put out all the fires to kill this guy, you know. Or at least I think it diminishes his power if I get rid of the fires. Oh no, it doesn't matter. He just relights them. Okay, I think we got him. No, this guy's strong. Okay, there you go. Now we got him. That was a bit tricky. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Ugh. God damn. That's just like the cringiest thing people say. I feel like it's meant to be like inspirational, but it's just always, it just always comes across as cringe. And it also just doesn't apply to like so many scenarios. Like for exercising, yeah, it might apply. But for like, what if someone's getting, like, brutally assaulted? Are you going to tell me that their pain is just their weakness leaving their body? You know, they're just going to say to their attacker, Hey, thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm stronger now because you beat me up. No. <laughs> Doesn't really apply most of the time. Fortune cookie. General Kenobi. <laughs> Ow. I keep goddamn pulling my headset out of my head. One second. Look at my headset up again. My headset, my, my girlfriend got me a new headset. Uh, it's the 
HyperX something or other. It's, it's, it's Alpha, I think it is. Really good headset. But compared to my old headset, it has the it has the um, like volume adjuster in line on the wire, which would be fine. But it's like the perfect height to get just just slightly caught on the edge of my desk. So every time I like bend down and lift my head back up, I end up um, like pulling it out of my ear. It's very annoying. But the headset is banging. And the wire is replaceable, so if I break the wire, it doesn't actually matter. Um, but yeah, it's a significant improvement of my last headset. I used to have the HyperX Cloud 2, and now I've got the HyperX Alpha. And HyperX is, by the way, 100% what I'd say is always, always the best gaming headset to go for if you're going to go for a gaming headset. They are just fantastic. Ooh, range plus tier size is decent here. Um, yeah, they are absolutely fantastic, so highly recommend. Um, but yeah, got the Alpha, and oh. It's very, very good. Okay, so we do get some hits here. Um, <laughs> it gave us 0.1 damage over the last floor. Kind of funny. But still a damage upgrade. Still um, not managed to get a soul heart out of our fortune cookie. I don't know what the chance is. I think it's 25% chance to get a soul, a soul heart. I don't know if they're flat odds. I'm just kind of making that off the top of my head by via what it feels like. Did we always have only two red hearts? I swear we had more. I swear we had three at one point. What? Where did the other one go? What happened here? Am I am I seriously losing my mind? I swear. I swear we had three red hearts. There's a soul heart. Where the hell did it go? I didn't trade it for a devil deal, did I? Not that, not to my knowledge. I've not got any items that would give me uh, a broken heart or take away any red health. I'm confused. That's pretty good, especially with my reflection. I'll take it. And also we had high shot speed as well already. Like very high shot speed, so it counteracts that nicely. We do lose a bit of that range and we do lose a bit of that shot speed, but... Well, I think for the most part we've counteracted and basically got free piercing, which I really, really like. Who cares what you think? You're a, you're not my mother. Nice. I think we're going to see a lot of really funny and cool fortunes with this. Uh, Fiend Folio added a ton. Okay, I'm I. Oh my god, Do you know those enemies are horrible. The ones that fire those bouncy black tar shots, because I never actually see them. Also, this is a really difficult enemy for us right now. I really like these dudes. Oh, gush your mouth. What the hell? Oh, it was you. I hate those bloody things. Even though they don't tell uh, telefrag, it feels like they do. Oh my god, yes, this piercing. Also, this is given a spectral as well, hasn't it? A tinted rock there. Can we actually... Can we actually hit that tinted rock? I think we can. Yeah, we can. It didn't give us anything anyways. Bugger. Bugger. Okay. Two of you down here. I'm just going to keep firing in this one line here. Also, today, by the way, I have to say, I am very hype because I am going to... Um, Red's Barbecue, which is a barbecue place <clears throat> sort of near me that uh, I went to for... I've been to for, for a few things, actually. I went for my dad's birthday, and we've been a few other times as well, and it is amazing. I think some of you might have remembered a few months ago now. Um, it was, like, in June. I went uh, with my dad for, my, for his birthday, and I came back and recorded, like, the day later, and I still had the meat sweats. I was still fully fully like completely full of the food <laughs> the next day I, we ate so much it was insane um and we're going back again today and i'm hype isaac smoke weed luckily we're not isaac right i don't know where secret room is here we'll check this out i think we're considering our money situation i think we're better off um opening these two and that's two very good items there we got enough money, which is great, and we got this, which could give us a, a thingy in the future. Oh, that's perfect. Awesome. Um, that's very good. Very, very good. Tears up is really nice here. Okay, secret room, where are we thinking? 
top of this room? No. In the square of this room here? Very plausibly. In fact, I would I would gamble that that's going to be right. Yeah, I'm going to say that's right. I know I've not checked the other two sides, but yeah. More money is good, which means we can go to the actual shop now as well and buy Fanny Pack. Was it Fanny Pack? Does trigger on Blood Earth, so I'm going to take that. I would very much like more red health, though. I, I swear I had three. Maybe I didn't. I thought I had three. Um, and maybe I'm just going crazy. It's very, very, very plausible. Ooh, this is a very, very easy boss for us with our piercing. Oh my lord. Demolished. A hey, blood clot's really good here, and that's more range um, on the second shot. Also, Eternal Seal is really good for us. Really good for us. That's awesome. Okay, down we go. Blood Earth will give us a bit of our damage back. I'm liking this run so far. We've got a lot, a lot of good stuff going on. So that didn't trigger any fanny pack drops, unfortunately, which I, I don't know if it fanny packs a guarantee or just a chance. I think it's just a chance, maybe. So that might be why. But what are you doing behind there, dude? You realize I can't hit you. Oh, wait, no, I've got spectral. I can. Oh, I forgot fortune can give you cards, too. I always forget that. Destroyed. I'm just going to crack that open. That was probably a bad idea, to be honest. One second. I thought I heard someone yell, but obviously not. My god. That's a lot of cards. Ooh. Ooh. If we get to go to another devil deal at some point, that's kind of useful. We also got the Empress the Magician. Oh god. I was wondering what the hell I was waiting for then. Okay, health-wise, things are looking very good. Would like some red health though. I'm really liking. I think Spectral on Fiend Folio is particularly quite good. We also got a Miser Heart there, which is really nice. If Fiend was a host, he would be called. <laughs> Get what the hell? I didn't get a chance to read that all, but then again, I'm a very slow reader. Yeah, Eternal Seal is going to be really good. I think Eternal Seal is what gave us that Miser Heart there. Because it can drop golden hearts, and miser hearts have like a 25% chance to turn from a golden heart to a miser heart. Ow. Got a golden bomb there, though. Certainly don't mind that. Okay. Slightly confusing, but I think that's about all of them. There's one more. No. Where are you going to pop up? There you are. We shook hands IRL. You see, my reflection was a very good choice. I don't know why my reflection gets such a bad rap. Like, I really do think the only time it's ever not worth taking. We also got Echo Chamber here um, and a few other things. I think I really do think the only time it's not worth taking is when you already have very low range. I think otherwise it's almost always the right choice. Because, like... It, it just gonna, it's just going to give you a huge rain, range boost. And then the shot can come back and hit them again. And then, like I said, it synergizes incredibly well with beams and a few other things. I really think it's a, a top tier. I really don't think it's zero quality at all. I think it gets way too much of a bad rep. We do have golden bombs here, so we might as well try this out. We do have uh, the ability to smelt our trinket to us. I think we should go for it. Um... Or not, because it just doesn't work. Shame. I don't know why. We have a trinket. There we go. I'd like our dice bag to pay out before the uh, the thingy wears off. Our secret disc. We're getting so many soul hearts now. Wow. So many. I wonder if I keep the stats from experience bar. I'm going to guess not. Ah, we lost them all. I should have, it would have been good to make a purchase before that then as well, but I don't, again, I don't know if we would have kept those stats. Beautiful. Ah, 
I don't know why I just stood there and accepted that, but it's fine. Um, baby crate is kind of interesting here. It's decent enough. Hold the shots down, it does that. It's decent. It is what it is. We don't really have enough money to do anything here. Oh, we got an eternal heart over there. We definitely want that. Wait, can I even get to that eternal heart? I'd better be able to get to that. I'm gonna be really annoyed if I can't. Right. We got it. Because we need, really need more red health, so... Eternal hearts are very, very good for us right now. Second secret room maybe here. The obvious spot. Bit of extra money there, nice. We do have bombs to use on the boss if we need. Saying that, that one just completely missed. I'm just going to stop using them. They're not working at all. I really love this uh, this this thing of the uh, popping in and out of the sewer grates. I don't actually know what the boss is right now. I'm very confused. We've lost a lot of health in this fight too. This is like the first time I've ever seen him do this attack though, I'll be honest. There you go, we got him. And he's got one of the coolest death animations as well. That's really good. We did get a Devil Deal, so Soul of the Lost might be useful here. And indeed it is. We got conjoined out of that as well. This is, with uh, my reflection, this is real good. <laughs> real, real good. I realise that locks us into Devil Deals at this point. And it's kind of early on to do that, but opportunity we cannot pass up. We finally get a lot of damage out of this. Ooh, we can get some familiars here. Which I realize we've already got conjoined, so we don't need them. But I would certainly take them. Yeah. My reflection's gonna make this insane. We're just gonna have tears all over the screen. Idiot, thanks. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely we've definitely introduced a little bit of frame frame rate reduction, but. Honestly, for a run like this, I ain't going to be too sad about it. Got a card there. So, basically, at the minute, more range would be fantastic. Ooh, sun card is just a using the next room sort of thing. Damn, it wasn't a combat room. We got contraband. He took it. Damn it. I was going to take that. Oh, well. Guess not. We didn't do that mini boss down there. We should go and do that mini boss. Although we'll come back after we've seen if we can get any more money, to be honest. Pop that there. I love the way that you can, if you tap fire, you can make this guy like, absolutely scream in agony look. Ah! <laughs> it's great. There's a little bit more money. Solar Samson, why not? Samson, that's me. What the hell? An extra health from Eternal Seal here. Win the race, just win the race. Check this out. Eh. Nothing particularly super important there. Bomb bag is okay. Got, oh, we got a trinket there as well. The crack key here. I'm just going to pop that there. I'm really not particularly looking for the uh, red room. I'm just spamming it wherever. If we find it, good on us, but otherwise, whatever. I'm surprised red rooms don't have unique rocks, to be honest. I thought that'd be something Fiendfolio do. I mean, not like I expect it of them, uh, but like, it seems like a Fiendfolio type thing to do. There's another Eternal Heart. Awesome. Right, let's make our way back. I just want to fight that mini boss and grab myself a uh, random familiar because we could get something pretty good. You never really know where those machines 
could end up finding something pretty awesome. You have quite a ways to go with not super great speed. I mean, our speed's pretty good, but for this distance, it's a bit annoying to be low on speed. I'm going to try the shroom. I realize it's going to cost us a soul heart, but... Mm, this is tricky. We could take reverse of the tower, which I, I think reverse of the tower is probably going to be better. I quite like reverse of the tower. It's annoying, but it's fun. Gluttony here. Infestation. Not a great pickup from him, but there you go. And we will go and plonk some money into one of these machines and see who we get. You see? It was all worth it. Those machines usually aren't super great. It's it's kind of rare that you get a good familiar out of those things, so I don't think they're very overpowered at all. And they're pretty rare machines in general, but goddamn, sometimes they pay out big. Imagine if they gave us another twisted pair, that'd be insanely good. But I will very much be quite, quite happy with a side fly. Right. Boss time. I might just use the Solar Samson here. Like the, um <laughs> the amount of axes that we've got here is insane. Beautiful. Golden heart there as well. We were going to do Mother, but I kind of forgot about that, so let's just take the Polaroid. <laughs> Anyhow, the Contraband fell us there, but sadly, we don't have anything for you. Is that a Tinted Rock? That it is, you see? Very worthwhile. Blood back there, that's pretty good. Ooh, Tree Monster. Damn it! Stupid my reflection. Right. Grab the blood bag. Not a great blood bag to be honest. Sometimes they can pay out huge, but that one not so much. Right, I think we're just going to be stomping through the floors here. We could definitely do with slightly more damage. Like, it seems weird because we are firing an insane amount of tears. You think we'd be killing stuff really fast. But we're not, in some regards. Some rooms like that are easy. Like, rooms like this should be absolutely pain, uh, painless. But, um... Some of the rooms with slightly heftier enemies, they're, they're not really dying very fast. It's a little bit risky. Grab that key. I don't need it, but we'll grab it. A lot of people have asked uh, quite a few times why I don't do certain things when I play Isaac, like, oh, I can't believe you didn't bomb that angel statue or that beggar or that whatever to get your angel chance up. I can't believe you didn't pick up that pill and use it. I can't believe you didn't go back and get that bomb. I can't believe you... Oh, that was stupid. I can't believe you um, went, like, di could, didn't have enough money to buy this thing on this shop, but last floor you left two pennies on the ground. It's like, yeah... I realise you might find that annoying if you're a min-maxer, but I ain't at all. <laughs> I don't min-max games, especially Isaac, in any way, shape, or form. I just play it, and I play it at a reasonably fast pace, because I enjoy playing at a reasonably fast paced. Paced? Pace. And you're just going to have to deal with it, because <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm the one playing the game. So, it is what it is. <laughs> It doesn't really annoy me too much when people comment about that. What The only thing that annoys me, and I've mentioned this a few times, is when people, like, act as if I've committed a crime. When when they're like, oh my god, you angered me so much because you did this. And it's like, mm. yeah. In actual fact, you probably slightly exhaled with your nose because you were mildly frustrated and then carried on watching the rest of the video. <laughs> people act like it's the end of the world. Although, to be honest... If you have any frustrations with my video whatsoever, feel free to comment them, because any comment is a good comment, as long as it's not racist. <laughs> or horrible. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm going to say comments are always good for engagement. Also, I've got, gotten hit way too much on this floor already. I've just got to point that out. That's getting beefed on. What the hell are they? What the hell even hit me there? I have no idea. That's good. 
That's nice. Oh, for, I just want the chest. Go away. Fuck you. Doesn't matter. I won't, I, I won't have the chest then. Fuck you. Oh, God. I did forget about Blood Earth. With our current HP, we are in a pretty sticky situation, actually, with, with Blood Earth. I forgot about that. And I'm really hoping we get some significantly decent payouts from our active item or from Eternal Seal here, because otherwise, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be sitting in a pretty difficult situation for a little while here. And our uh, active hasn't paid out in quite some time here. That's a morbid heart, though. Morbid hearts can save our life; they can get hit three times. But ge generally, I don't really get any sort of hateful comments. P people that comment stuff like that, it's never... I don't think it's ever bad-natured. I don't think it's ever people being cruel. I think it's just voicing slight frustration. Um, and like I said, you're welcome to comment that if you want. That's the whole point of the comment section. Comment whatever you feel like commenting, as long as it's not hateful. Um, we've taken quite a lot of damage here. I think one of the problems right now is we're just quite unable to see what we're fighting because there's just so much shit on screen. I wonder if uh, it'll deplete my morbid heart next floor or not. I would imagine so. I say we actually want to kill the enemies for the eternal seal prox. Riddle is best boy, don't at me, bro. Right, back through we go. Don't know which way we're going here. I'm going to try right, but I'm going to say that's wrong. Everything dead? No, hello. Damn. Active just isn't paying out right now. Burn heart, that's pretty good. It's an extra layer of protection. I don't know why sometimes the text is super tiny like that. No red hearts there. Oh, this was the right way. Okay, nice. I really had a, really had a feeling it wasn't. Eternal Seal's been play, paying out enough to keep us going, though, so we're happy. Why does the bloody laser eyes always spawn in that top right corner? What's that about? I do want to use bombs here, but I just feel like it's so impossible. Also, it's pretty impossible for us to see what's going on here. I might need to use the visible its mod. But I, I don't like how they visually look, but it's useful. We do have a void portal here. I'm tempted by this, and therefore I'm going to do it. I always regret this, but I think with Psyfly, we should be okay. Golden hearts there. Three dollar bills, awesome. Don't want either of those, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't know, maybe telekinesis is... I think telekinesis at this point might be a bit better. Arrow cloths are good here. Teleport's a super secret room. Thanks. <laughs> right. Let's do something. Let's go for it. I think just spam use telekinesis whenever it's ready. I think $3 bill is going to be clutch here. We're going to get a lot of really strong effects from that. 
I mean, already you can see my bugger tears that are stuck to that guy. Holy light shots coming out there as well. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Don't think we have too much of a problem. I mean, Psyfly on its own is gonna be our savior. Sci-Fi plus Telekinesis isn't a great combo, because uh, we're not going to catch many tears with Telekinesis because they're going to get destroyed, but we'll pretend it's going well. We'll pretend that's not happening. It's not going super quick, I'll be honest. You're going to move down? I want to start bombing him, but I normally wait until he moves down before I do that. Okay, there you go. Lots of bugger tears attached to you. Lovely. Okay, lots of bugger tears on you. Don't know why he's telekinesis there. Completely useless. Right, stop firing for a minute. Try and get some bombs on him. Okay, now start firing now because there's flies about. I heard a heart there. There you go. Soul heart there. Good, good. I don't have the best place to stand, really, to be honest. Oh, Explosivo, that's huge. That's huge for us. Yeah, honestly, spawn more things. Spawn more flies and stuff. Thank you. Eternal Seal should give us a good few procs out of this. Although, those ones went directly into me. I hadn't really thought about the fact that when we get hit, we'd be creating rocks in the stage, which is peculiar, to say the least. Oh, what the hell? Telekinesis wasn't active then. I thought it was. Okay, we got about halfway now. I think Explosiva and Buggerty is the two we, that we really want in terms of uh, in terms of tier effects from three dollar bill. I really like the the way the hush rocks look. Got like, little faces in them. Ow! Oh my god, there's so many rocks about now. I, I wonder if it hinders his movement at all. Because, I mean, luckily for us, it doesn't hinder our ability to fire at him. If we didn't have Spectral, I think this would be very problematic. But we do, so it shouldn't be too bad. Not a big fan of that attack. Okay, this is good. This could give us a few Eternal Seal procs. I'm hoping. Luckily it didn't, but he's doing it again. He's doing it again. And this is, um... Bugger Tears as well. We need to get in there with them. Because they stay after the fact. We didn't get many on him, but we got enough to do some damage. Okay. Stay put. Keep a fire him. Telekinesis is recharging so damn slow. Keep using it. Ooh, more, more fellas. Got insta-death shots in there as well. Nice. I can't believe Ed Eternal Seal hasn't procced on these guys once. It procced on one of the flies, but maybe it has a lower chance to proc on enemies spawned by other enemies. That, that would make a lot of sense, actually. Because otherwise you'd be able to farm it in a way. We have to accept the damage we take from this, I think. We don't have a lot of maneuverability around here. Oh my god, he's using this attack so much. There you go, we got him. That was a little tricky. Took us a little bit of time. Next floor is going to be a little uh, a little tricky as well because we're going to take a lot of damage from Blood Earth. We're going to have very little health left. We no longer have the ability to um, generate soul hearts via our active. Good thing is, we can get some Tinted Rocks here and there. Don't know what you're doing, sir. And luckily as well, things should be dying pretty quick. We have a lot of tears on screen, so... I'd expect swift deaths from everyone. It would be rude to do anything else, wouldn't it? And I will mention it again, because I never won't mention it. The music is slapping. Beautiful. Yeah, just pop telekinesis whenever we can, really, as well. That's going to help. 
Oh shit, there's, there's buttons in here. Did not see the buttons. Extra red heart there. Ooh, green Loki. Isn't green Loki, like, really difficult? Because he has a ton of herming shots. If I remember correctly, green Loki's, like, one of the hardest champions that Fiend Folio adds. I saw it in Slayer's video. By the way, this is... This is something that I just have to mention. <laughs> like, one one thing that I see quite often is um, I see people leaving comments about various things in uh, in Isaac Law or Fiend Folio Law or things like that. Um, that are like, oh, did you know that this does this or this enemy does this or whatever. I see those comments a fair amount and a lot of the time, if not exclusively... It's usually things that are, de uh, that are demonstrated in Slay XC's videos. I do watch Slay XC's videos, so almost every single time it's stuff that I already know. <laughs> it's like nice that people are, are trying to spread the information, but just so you know, I I probably already know it. <laughs> I, I spend an enormous amount of time not only playing this game, but watching other content about this game. I, Regardless of the fact that I play it a lot, I do still watch a decent amount of content on this. I watch Huts whenever he plays it. Uh, I watched Slay. I used to watch Isaac Guru, but he doesn't really upload anymore. Um, I really wish he'd come back, but at the same time, he kind of run his course. He did everything that needs to be shown. And Slay kind of took over the market in that sort of content style. Um, and yeah, Northern Lion, when he was playing it, I know he's not playing it as much anymore. Um, I, I watch Cobalt Streak every now and again as well. I watch Sin Victor. No, lol. <laughs> Who watches Sin Victor? For us. I do not watch them, Victor. Um, yeah, I watch. I do watch a decent amount of people play Isaac. Void Portal. No, thank you. Okay, so rebirth here. Blood explosion is kind of interesting. Uh, excuse me, there's a pot on my chest. There's an enemy in my chest. Damage against non-bosses. Aquarius. Bloody boxes on my items. Dude, it turned into a spiked rock. I want my item. Fuck you. God damn. I'm not appreciative of that. Burn heart there. Can we actually get it? rock here. Dude, stop moving my bombs around. What's with all the enemies inside these rocks? Bug here. Maybe Rebirth will increase the chances of us getting uh, Eternal Seal procs. I have no idea how that would work. Depends if on kill effects still trigger on them, I guess. Which I'd imagine they do, but I, I, I really can't be sure. The blood explosions are quite nice here, aren't they? The burn heart there for us. Oh god. The ghost train. Ow. We found the boss already. We're just gonna go for it. Oh, we got Herming to start with as well, with Aquarius, which is pretty good. Still can't really see what's going on, but otherwise, good run. I love Isaac runs like this, where it's just an overwhelming amount of tears on screen. So fun, especially when the game's actually kind of holding up the frame rate as well. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A very, very fun run. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.